What is up guys, it's Thomas Massa coming at you with another Max Flight Outdoors video. Uh, today we're headed to a local lake to do some walleye fishing hopefully. And uh, knowing me, we'll probably scrap the walleye fishing in 20 minutes and end up bass fishing. But we'll give it a shot for a little while and see what happens. Uh, I got my uncle with me today so that should be pretty cool. I don't get to fish with him a lot but uh, I like to get out with him when I can. So catch you guys on the lake. Big fish, big fish, big bass, big bass. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Not as big as I made him sound, but he's nice. Crunched that thing, man. Absolutely inhaled that chatter, man. Another nice little two pounder, probably. Just bagging your feast and the tails are starting to get a little beat up from that spawn and that was sick. There we go. Back down he goes. Let's see if we can go crank on another one. Wind blown shoreline with chatterbait. The water's pretty clear here though, but we're still rocking the black and red. Way back up in here. Nice little guy there. Let him go quick. Oh yeah, back down he goes. Ooh, that's a tree right there. I think that's the tree I pulled him off of. I'm not gonna lie, I think he was sitting on that tree. That one right there. Oh yeah. I can't believe there's not fish sitting up underneath that. There was, look at that. What oh, small mouth. That rod tip up. Oh. Sticky hooks on these things, man. There you go, sweet, you go. <laughs> nice, heck yeah. <laughs> Just as you were saying, I can't believe It looked too good. Knew there had to be one stuck up under there. Gosh dang, big old fish under the boat. Might be worth making a pass back through here with some swim baits or something and sitting out in like 15 feet and casting up to 11. Cause there's a lot of nice looking marks down there, walleye-ish looking marks. That's what I'm talking about, that's probably a walleye. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Be so, so careful, that's probably a big walleye. It's a big fish. It's a really big fish. I'm still rigging up. Big walleye. Big walleye. Big walleye. Big walleye. Big walleye. Oh man, just, be, just play him careful. Play him careful. Play him careful. Play him careful. Let's freaking go. Let's go. <laughs> That's funny. Look at how he it just inhaled that jig, man. Popped him right in the corner of the mouth. 
That's a nice one there. Throw them on the board quick because you're only allowed one under 20. I don't think he quite makes it. I think that's a nice, I think that's a nice 19, 18, 19 slot. Oh man. 18 and 18 and three quarters when you pinch the tail. There we go. Small mouth, a little, little smally. Just barely hooked, just barely hooked. Nice and easy now. Oh, there we go, now we got him again. <laughs> Popped right off though. Hey buddy, just calm down here. Okay, Jimmy. Chill. <sighs> nice little small mouth there on the old jerk bait. Oh, that was a carp that came up and looked at it that time. Oh, my heart stopped. I saw that big old fish come racing up that rock like that. Thought it was that bass that was up there earlier. Thought for sure it was that bass that was up there earlier. Hooked up something big, baby. Big bass, big bass. Big bass on the web, Greg. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, it's a freaking giant. Oh, it's a freaking giant. Oh, it's a freaking giant. Oh, it's gonna be the biggest one of the day. We can get around for sure. Like this. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Punched him in the corner of my mouth with that back here. I gotta get to the front of the boat and drive. I'm gonna crash. Ah, <sighs> uh, no. I can't say for sure if it's the same bass that uh that was up there when we went up to get our lure sitting over there looking at it but uh there's one cool fish right there man wow I was not honestly expecting that to work even a little bit and it worked perfectly it's a beautiful fish a little chunk you know red those crushers are from crushing crawdads up there that's why he's in the rocks probably see way back in the back of their mouth back there they've got crushers for crushing crawdads way back there and they are just red from smashing crawdads okay let's get a release on buddy let him go Let's go. The freaking wacky rig, man. I literally just had this worm on this hook wacky rigged. No weight, no nothing. Just, I mean, fishing it real slow. And you can see I was letting it sink and I saw the line start to jump. And I knew that, that there was no way that it was sinking that fast. There was a fish that was on that thing. So I picked it up ready to hit him and smoked him, man. Smoked him on that hook set. Feels good. What is up, guys? We are done for the day. It is still light out, but we're calling it quits a little early just because it's been a grind today. We got here at about 1230 and it's now 
seven o'clock basically. And uh, let's see, I caught a small mouth and three large mouth. And my uncle caught a small mouth and a walleye. And that was it, that was the whole day. I mean, it was, it was kind of a grind. I can't complain about the quality of fish though. I mean, two of those large mouth were, they were nice fish. They were that two pound variety, which Northern strain bass is a nice fish. Basically, you wanna like double it between Northern and Southern strain, if you look at the numbers. So basically, I mean, if we were fishing Texas, we caught two four pounders and a two pounder today. And I would, uh, that would be, I would consider that a great day. So it's, it was a tough day. The fish, I don't know. There's a lot of people out today. There's a lot of pressure. I just don't know that there's a ton of largemouth bass in this lake. We went and looked in one of the spots that I did great in last year and there was almost no fish there. We saw like three carp and that was it. So they're hiding in different spots with the water being down like this. I just got to figure out where they are and adapt. They might be on the rock more just because there's no weeds yet. It's early in the year. Hard to say. Um, but I will catch you all in the next Max Fight Outdoors video. See you later.